Hello everybody, uh, this is Chaplain Bob. Um, this is going to be uh, not really a Bible study, but on this st stupid Mandela effect in time travel. I mean, I, I, I can hardly believe that this people are even entertaining this idea. But before I uh, get started on this, um, I want you to know if anybody wants to copy and put up my any any of my studies, feel free to do it. You know, all glory to Jesus. Um, nothing's copyrighted. I mean, you know, the Bible says, "Freely ye have received, freely give," and that's how I look at it. You know, that's why I don't ask for donations. And uh, those of you that have sent me things in the past, thank you very much. But you know, I didn't ask. I mean, I, I've been shocked at some of the gifts that I have received, um, and thank you. But the uh, let's define what the Mandela effect is. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm kind of wondering if it was based, uh, they named it after uh, Nelson Mandela, the uh, black communist who didn't who died not that long ago. And yes, he was a communist, and he murdered uh, a lot of whites, a lot of white Christians um, down in South Africa, and uh, which is really kind of a cesspool now. So what can I tell you? Uh, I don't know how many of you have been through Detroit, but South Africa is starting to be like Detroit since the uh, communists have taken over. His party was called the African National Congress, and he was behind a uh, Soviet hammer, uh, black, a red Soviet hammer and sickle flag, him, his wonderful, lovely wife, and a Jew named Joe Slovo. Pictures all over the internet. All you got to do is look it up. I mean, it's, you know, it's not faked. It's not photoshopped. But the... Um, I don't know if that's named for him or not, but I just thought I would throw that out there. Now, what they want us to believe is that, uh, I don't know, maybe using CERN or whatever, that uh, mankind or Satan or whoever, whatever theory you want to believe, is going back in time and changing the Bibles and the things that remember, you know, like uh, in Isaiah, it's, uh, in Isaiah it talks about the kingdom uh, when Christ, after Christ returns, it says, um, everybody remembers, oh, the lion lays down with the lamb. Well, you know, if the Bible was corrupted, if, if Satan went back in time and corrupted the Bible, uh, basically that makes Satan more powerful than God, makes God a liar, because Jesus said, uh, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But the thing is, you've got, why do we have 666 different versions of the Bible? If Satan was able to change the words, he wouldn't need all these different modern versions, would he? No, he certainly wouldn't. I mean, all he'd need is one Bible and change it and then, you know. And the thing is, if, if you think the words have been changed, then maybe Jesus is not Emmanuel. Maybe he's not the Son of God. Maybe he's not the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. Maybe he's not the Christ, the Messiah. Maybe it's all a lie. You know, but that's for you to decide whether you're going to follow this nonsense or not. Um, you know, and time travel is a fairly recent phenomenon for movies, TV shows, and what have you. I looked up in Wikipedia, Wikipedia, as I like to call it, and uh, let's take a look at some of the movies and whatnot where they talk about time travel. So let's take a look. All right, I'm on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, let's see, category, time travel films. Okay, we had the Back to the Future, Bill and Ted's Adventure, um, the English had Doctor Who, 
Um, then they have Time Loop Films, the Terminator Films, the Time Machine. So let's take a look. Um, you had 1 million BC, 11 AM, 12 monkeys. Um, let's see. We had, uh, I heard there was a movie called About Time in 2013. I never saw it. Um, as time goes by. And let's see, Back to the Future, of course, we mentioned that. Um, Planet of the Apes. Okay, we had that. Uh, some of these I've never heard of, like uh, Brother Future, the Butterfly Effect, you know. And then you had A Christmas Carol, remember? Um, they show it every Christmas, you know, the ghost of Christmas past comes and takes... Ebenezer Scrooge to the past and shows him, oh, if only you changed how you were. So, what can I tell you? Uh, you had a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court. Uh, let's see. And uh, what else? Uh, let's see. There was a film in 2006 called The Girl Who Left Through Time. I remember when I was a little kid, there was a TV show, uh, a series called The Time Tunnel. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, I remember seeing the Taylors, uh, trailers for a movie called Hot Tub Time Machine. Never saw it. Glad I missed it. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Journey to the Beginning of Time, Journey to the Center of Time. Um, you know, it, it, Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time, never saw that, but I've heard of it. Uh, let's see. Ah, Men in Black, I forgot about that. Uh, let's see, what else? No Time for Nuts. And let's see how. Let's go to the uh, some more of them. Okay. The Philadelphia Experiment, supposedly Einstein, right? Uh, let's see. Star Trek. They went back in time. The original series, and then one of their movies. Uh, Voyage Home, let's see, uh, Stargate Continuum, they went back in time, uh, of course the Terminator series, uh, isn't that all what that's about, uh, let's see, the Three Stooges Meet Hercules, I remember that, Time Bandits, that was the movie I was thinking, yes, that is exactly Satan was trying, or I don't know, Satan, uh, God's little elves or whatever the heck they were, stole something and went back in time and Satan's chasing them and I don't know. What a stupid movie that was. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I saw bits and pieces. That's right, Time Bandits. That's it almost exactly reminds me of like the uh, what they're talking about, this Mandela effect. The Time Machine, H.G. Wells. They did it in 1960. They did it again in 2002. The Time Travelers, The Time Traveler's Wife, um, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, um, Time Cop. Never heard of that, but uh, I'm sure some of you have. Um, well, are, are we starting to get the idea? World of Tomorrow, World Without End. Um, I mean, let's face it, it has been, time travel has been a common theme for a long, long time, pun intended. And they're, they're brainwashing us with movies and television and all this garbage. And they want us to think that Satan is able to go back in time with CERN and and change the past so that he can affect the future. 
sorry. If you remember the lion with the lamb, it's probably because we were watching that filthy garbage on television. People like uh, Billy Graham and, uh, you know, all the TV evangelists that were either using a modern Bible version or they changed it themselves. I don't know. And then they'll, you know, the like the wineskins and the bottles. Um, people were saying, you know, you don't put the old wine into... Um, wine skins and then you know the rip, it rips and this and that and the other but you got to understand something sometimes there's two or three accounts in the gospel of the same things that jesus said or he might have said it two or di three different times and maybe mark records one thing and then luke would record something else and then matthew would re record something else you know when you're um, talking about how uh, Jesus did some miracles and stuff. Uh, you know, it doesn't, people will say, oh, well, see, it says he cured the blind man, but the accounts are different. Well, was it the same blind man or was it a different one? I'm sure Jesus cured more than a one or two blind people. So, you know, it's, I just, I think it's foolishness. I think it's as, almost as stupid as the flat earth garbage. Uh, did Jesus say, believe on me in the flat earth and thou shalt be saved? No. Did he say, believe on me and beware of the Mandela effect and thou shalt be saved? No. It's, it's lunacy, people. It's lunacy. I mean, God created time. The Bible says in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning... I mean, the heaven and the earth and Adam, kind, men had a beginning. Did God have a beginning? I don't think so, but, you know, the uh, Bible seems to, as far as I'm concerned, the Bible indicates that God was eternal. I, you know, I mean, think about it. Do we really want to think that Satan can go back in time and change everything? I mean, really? And another thing, too, Bibles, the modern Bibles cannot have a copyright unless the words change. So if the King James did say bottles, you know, they, they'd they have to use something like wineskins to keep the copyright. It's got to be, you just can't change a couple of words and get a copyright. It doesn't work like that. You've got to, it's got to be different. So maybe we remember things from the modern versions. Maybe we remember things from what the preachers cha changed behind the pulpit or on the, these TV preachers. I don't know. But, and if, if Satan did go back in time and change everything, how come our memories aren't changed? I mean, come on, people. Give it a rest. So, you know... Is Satan more powerful than God? You know, if the Mandela effect is true, then guess what? Satan's got something that God can't control. You know, time bandits. I mean, this is, it's nonsense. What can I tell you? I don't know. I don't know if it's, if it's the preachers that we remember misquoting things or or if it's the modern versions they were reading, I don't know. All I know is, I trust Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. And I believe it. And if Satan went back in time and changed it, well, I guess the words passed away, right? So, all right, well, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries, signing off. And uh, uh, don't believe every new thing you hear on the internet, people. Stay, stick with the King James. Amen.